Hey guys, I'm Alexey, and now we're going to be doing octane shaders, subsurface scattering here, a skin shader like this one that you see here. Um, if you haven't seen the other parts, go check out the description. Uh, there's the modeling parts that come before it. And let's get started. Need rigs. Ace Fight Studios has rigs. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's do some lighting for this guy. Actually, we're going to do, light. We're going to do the materials, but first we're going to add some lighting because otherwise you can't see stuff. So um, I use Octane because it's just, it's quick. It gives you a good result. And yeah, it's pretty much it really. It's, I'm learning Redshift as well, but just Octane is just so much faster with the stuff that it's, the defaults are just great here. So we're going to create a light, which is going to be Octane Area Light. And we're going to move him up. Let's go to side view here. Let's rotate him. Hold the shift key to snap stuff. Scale him up a bit. Bring him up. Um, let's go here from side view. Control drag to have another one. And again, control drag and rotate. So that we have a kind of a, it's not really a three point light setup, but whatever, close enough. Now let's add a camera. So objects, Octane camera that we have the tag on already. Let's go into it, make sure it's activated here. Change our focal length to 80, I like 80. Zoom out a bit. Um, let's go to render settings and change our output to 1080 by 1080. So it's a square. And now zoom back in so that we have him in our view. And now we can see that this light needs to be moved over here. We scale up a bit. And this light needs to be moved over. Actually, this one's fine. So let's call these guys. Um, this is our top light. This is our cool light. It could be our warm light. Doesn't really matter. This one is our warm light. I usually have one warm, one cool, a cold light. And now if we go here and we hit render, we'll see it's probably very bright. So first we need to add an octane texture environment and drag this guy, select him, click the color and go to like dark. There you go. And these guys, let's change all of their power to like two. Okay. Maybe four. Seems about right. Maybe even five. Yeah. Now, so our top light, probably gonna make him a bit bigger. Seems about right. I also really wanna switch this to PT. There you go. Um, and so let's go, cool. Let's drag the temperature down. Nope, up, there you go. Warm, drag the temperature down. You know what? I'm gonna have these the other way around. I think I want the cool light on this side. And I want the warm light down here. So let's rename these to warm and cool. And I want the warm light to be bigger and maybe change the brightness down to like two. Ah, also while we're here, let's go to settings. Basically what I do is also I go to camera images, sorry, kernels. First, make sure this is like 200. You don't need all those samples while you're testing stuff. Camera imager, denoiser, turn it on. And also here, I just do highlight comp compression because this just seems to give good results. I just max it out. It's not great for compositing. I'm sure people who use Nuke and whatnot will be spitting, but that's what I do. And let's just guys a square so we don't see the extra light. Now we're top light. Let's maybe drag this, give him some brighter lights. Um, this guy, maybe move him. Get a bit of even light going. And I'd say that seems about right. Maybe this orange can move back a bit. Yeah, I think that's better for the lighting so that we can see the contours. And just a bit of shadow here. Um, maybe even... No, I think that was good. Okay, so we can tweak this stuff later, but for now, this is pretty solid. So, next that we want to do is we want to add a material. Now, what I also want to do is I want to dock this guy here. And let's add a material. So materials in our live viewer, create. We're going to be using a composite material. I used to use a mixed material, but apparently composite material is more effective and glitches a bit less. Uh, you could use a universal material, but I somehow like the logic that I use when I make subsurface skin kind of materials. So basically let's apply it to our body mesh. Let's select this material, go node editor and Keep them here for now. 
Is that right? So we're going to go material one, we're going to add material, and this material will be a basic specular, nice and transparent. Now in here, let's go straight to our medium and click scattering. You'll see some stuff happens, but don't worry about that. What we need is we need to first kind of sound through it, turn all this stuff off. So we need to add RGB spectrum. Let's add two of them. And one's going to be black and the other one's going to be fully white. Now bring the black one to the bottom. By the way, if your color interface doesn't look like this, if you have some weird sliders here, go to your octane settings from this little gear button and go to settings and other and here switch this to C40 native and hit apply and you'll get back to this normal. I prefer this color slider much more in Octane. So apply the white material here to absorption and apply the black one to scattering. Now these are two subsurface kind of parameters that you have and the absorption, if you change its color, it'll just do exactly that. The problem is of course that it kind of right now we change it to a bit of pink and it goes way pink. Um, we're going to adjust that in a second, but first we go back to having it as white and the spec RGB spectrum, um, whatever color you add. So if you make it white, it'll go kind of, see so it kind of disperses the light, kind of makes it all kind of bounce off inside. But the color here is a bit trickier. If you switch it to red, you can see it goes kind of really blue for some reason. That's because it actually does some fancy maths, but basically what it's doing is taking the inverse. So if you have, Red, it'll pick blue. If you pick green, it'll pick purple. It basically just scatters this color and then this is what's left. So anyway, I for now, I'll leave it at white. Uh, actually black as we had it. So we're transparent. Now, how do we figure out what density? The thing is here we want this density because um, if we make, let's make this a bit red. See that we, we went a bit of pink. So this is where the density comes in. Basically now we need to control, we need to drag the density down to make it actually pink. See, and now it's too small. So what I usually do is I get this and I max it out to red. And then I drag this down until I get it, until it loses its intense redness. And then I drag it up until it just get, hits the intense redness. So now theoretically, if we click this thing, we should be able to, there you go, dragging it down makes it pink. Perfect. Um, maybe make this 0. I think 0. 0.2 is probably a good, Oops, maybe one nine is a good value here. That's in the right, so oops. So then when we go to red, it's pretty red. We can up the density if we need it, but this is fine. So now this first material, the scattering medium, which is the material one, which is transparent. This is gonna be like, think of this like the flesh underneath the skin. That's kind of what we're going for here. So we're gonna make this guy red, maybe just a bit towards orange. And we're going to make this RGB spectrum. We're going to also pull up some red and it actually, when you mix it, it kind of looks right. So I'm not sure. Basically, this is what we're going for. And then we're just going to open our material one here and our roughness and just yank it up. Maybe too much there. Now, the thing is, there's actually another thing which we want to, well, this is good. We want to actually uh, control the transmission color. So let's get another RGB spectrum and pipe it into transmission. This will give us another color to play with. See, now let's give us a bit to the orange, not too much orange, I think. See, and this kind of gives us kind of a surface color. The other thing is the inside color, and this is the surface color. So it's kind of a nice mixture. So it kind of looks a bit like a kidney or some internal organ at the moment. But this is pretty, this is good. This is what we're going for. And also make sure you have a separation on your thin elements so you can see kind of a 3D effect going on there. Um, also kind of a hint, uh, Scattering makes everything way slower. So if you drag this guy to just black, you might not see much of an effect on your final image, and but the render will go faster. So that could be a good way to go um, if you're using subsurface scattering. You could also get away without subsurface scattering maybe, but I figured this was a good way to show its effect. Now, so next we've got Octane Composite here. I'm going to go Material 2 and we go Add Material. And I'll add Material and you won't see anything happening because its mask is set to zero. So let's set its mask to one. And now this is just our white material, which is the default. Now here, let's make it a diffuse into more of our skin color that we want. This color is probably going to be a bit more yellow than you want the final result to be. We can tweak it a bit later, but basically this is going to be mixed with the red if you want the orange kind of effect. 
And then let's go to roughness and drag it up a bit. Seems about right. And now all we do is go to Actonic and obtain composite here material, and we just drag our material to mask down. And we just let it mix. And there you have it. Um, you can you can tweak this guy's diffuse a bit, so maybe make him a bit more red if you want. Maybe that's too red. There you go. Drag the saturation down a bit. And there we go. We have this really neat material. So you have the light passing through the legs a bit, so it's not just kind of solid. It's has this nice kind of like transparent, mushy feeling inside. Anyway, so there you have it. Now let's call this body material body mat and let's control drag him we don't freeze control drag and call this eyelids and let's go to our material here and let's just make it darker and let's apply this to the eyelids let's find our eyelids eyelid let's apply it to the subdivision surface i think if you apply it to the mesh it doesn't always work it needs to work here and anyway, i control drag it here as well and there we have it. Now we have our eyelids, which are a bit darker, a bit more saturated. I think that's about the right color for eyelids. And then we just want to make some basic materials for basic glossy materials for the purple here. So let's make this diffuse purple and to just easily replace it. So you don't have to find it in here. Just select this and drag it onto this material, but hold the Alt key so that it turns into a little square and it'll replace that everywhere in the scene. And you can do the same thing for the white of the eyes. Make this back to white and just I'll drag it on top of the eyes and just make sure it's actually applying. So maybe, yeah, wow, it's scary. <laughs> That's a cool color. Maybe we should, these are some great colors. Gonna leave it like this for now. Oh, it's looking fun. Oh yeah, and the in, inside material there. Maybe just make a regular diffuse material and make it dark, a bit towards the red, and just I'll drag it onto this thing here. Perfect. Oh yeah, and teeth. Um, materials create glossy material. Let's make its diffuse color a bit on the yellow side. And where's our teeth here? Teethy. Apply this to the teeth. Should be good. Nope. Didn't apply. There you go. Make sure it works. Yep. Perfect. So there you have it. This is looking great. Loving it. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember, if you need rigs, Ace 5 Studios has rigs. We have free rigs up here that you can use in your personal projects. We have Mari and Mia and 5J Pack for explainers and arms and legs. And Maria has a bunch of cats and animals you can use. And here, if you go through, Mari has a full face rig. Which you, can, you know, it's lots of functionality. You can use them in your projects. Mia is also fully rigged. Um, you can use her as a host or to sell your product. Um, also have the arms and legs pack, which you can put together to build your own characters. And they're already rigged, so you don't need to do any weight painting. You just have to stick them together and ready to go. Or you have 5J people for your explainer videos and other stuff. So don't forget to check it out and see you next time.